Chapter 17 In Lysias's Home Just a few days after my mother's unexpected visit, Lysias came looking for me on behalf of Minister Clarencio. I eagerly went with him. The magnanimous benefactor welcomed me, and I awaited his orders with enormous pleasure. My friend, he said amiably, you will now be allowed to make observation visits to all of our work sectors except for the more elevated ministries. Henrique de Luna has informed me that your treatment was completed last week, so it is only proper that you now employ your time observing and learning. I turned to Lysias as if he were a brother who ought to share my inexpressible happiness of the moment. My attendant answered me with a look of intense joy. I was simply ecstatic, for it was the beginning of a new life. Somehow, I would be able to work by joining different schools. Florencio noticed my indescribable joy and remarked, Since you will no longer have to stay in the hospital complex, I will carefully examine the possibility of your rooming somewhere else. I will consult a few of our institutions. Lysias interrupted him. If possible, I would be honored to welcome him into our home throughout his course of observation. My mother would treat him like a son. I stared him in a rapture of happiness. Florencio also gave him an approving look, saying, Very well, Lysias. Jesus rejoices with us whenever we receive a new friend into our hearts. I embraced my helpful attendant, unable to express my gratitude. Happiness can sometimes render us speechless. Keep this document, said the Minister of Assistance, handing me a small folder. It will enable you to visit the Ministries of Regeneration, Assistance, Communication, and Elucidation for the period of one year. After that, we shall see what else can be done concerning your wishes. Learn, my friend. Don't waste your time. The intervals between earthly experiences must be rightly filled. Lysias offered me his arm, and I left, giddy with pleasure. A few minutes later, we arrived at the door of a graceful house that was surrounded by a colorful garden. Here we are, exclaimed my kind companion. And with a caring look, he added, This is our home in Nasalar. I heard the doorbell ring inside, and a kindly-looking older woman opened the door. "'Mother! Mother!' cried the attendant, introducing me happily. "'This is the brother I promised to bring to you.' "'Welcome, friend!' the woman exclaimed nobly. "'Our home is yours.' And embracing me, "'I understand your own mom doesn't live here, "'so in me you will have a sister acting as a mother.' I didn't know how to thank her for her generous hospitality. I was about to rehearse a few phrases to express my emotion and gratitude, but displaying a unique sense of humor, she seemed to have guessed my thought and was one step ahead of me. You are forbidden from thanking me. Please don't. Otherwise, you will force me to remember too many of those conventional phrases from earth. We all laughed and, deeply moved, I said, May the Lord translate my gratitude to everyone in renewed blessings of joy and peace. We went inside. The atmosphere was simple and comfortable. The furniture was almost identical to furniture on earth, and other common objects seemed only slightly different. There were paintings of sublime spiritual significance and a remarkably large piano. A big harp of delicate and noble design rested against it. Noticing my curiosity, Lysias said with a smile, As you can see, we don't meet up with any angel harpists after the grave, but there's a harp waiting for us here. Oh, Lysias, his mother interrupted him affectionately, don't be ironic. Don't you remember last year when the Ministry of Divine Union welcomed some of the personnel from Elevation, when those ambassadors from Harmonia visited our colony? Yes, Mom. I only meant to say that there really are such harpists, but we must develop our spiritual perception in order to hear them by making an effort to learn about divine things. A little later, after the usual introductions, and as we were talking about our backgrounds, I learned that Lysias' family was from an old town in the state of Rio de Janeiro, that his mother's name was Laura, and that he had two sisters, Yolanda Judith.
living with him at home. In Lysias' home, we enjoyed an atmosphere of sweet and comforting intimacy. I couldn't disguise my gratitude and enormous joy. That first contact with a domestic organization in the colony delighted me, and the tender hospitality aroused profound emotions in my spirit. In answer to my endless questions, Yolanda showed me some marvelous books. Laura noticed how interested I was in them and informed me. As for literature in Nasalar, we have an enormous advantage, which is that all of Earth's insidious authors, those who write psychological poison, immediately end up in the dark zone of the umbral. As long as they persist in such an attitude, they are unable to recoup their spiritual balance, not even in the ministry of regeneration. I couldn't help smiling as I continued looking at the beautiful photographic art on nearly every page. Later, Lysias called me to show me some of the other rooms of the house, and I was especially fascinated by the bathroom with its interesting fixtures. Everything was simple but comfortable. I had hardly gotten over my admiration of the place when Laura invited us to prayer. We sat in silence around a big table. When a large device was switched on, we heard soft music playing. It was the twilight service. On the screen, I saw the same magnificent image that I had seen at the government center. I had never grown tired of contemplating that image every afternoon in the hospital complex. But this time, I felt dominated by a deep and mysterious joy. And when I saw the blue heart forming in the background, I felt that my soul was kneeling in my inner temple in a sublime rapture of joy and gratitude.